Okay, so now we're going to learn how to do a painting of mushrooms in a forest. And I'm going to go over the materials. Um, I used a lot of different colors of green. You don't need all these colors of green. Uh, I used some Montana colors, but you could use Montana or Pink Rose Touch. Um, I'm a little, a little bit shinier with the Montana, but you can still do a real nice job with Painter's Touch, and you need Painter's Touch, in fact, to do a bunch of the effects. So I used a mixture. So this is uh, Montana Gold Verde Olivo Olive Green, uh, Naranja Signal, Signal Orange, Montana. I used uh, Verde Obscuro Dark Green and Verde Quirúrgico Surgical Green. Montana, Montana, and uh, I don't know what this is, but it's like a, a leaf green color. I've <laughs> painted over my label, um, like a leafy green color. But you don't actually need all of these. You know, you'd be really you'd be fine with just uh, I think the surgical green and the dark green, you know, or the, or the leaf green. Just two of them, take two, and metallic green. You need metallic green. This is metal cast, but you could use metal cast or krylon or whatever kind of metallic green you find. Uh, I've got my crystal clear rust-oleum. You could use other kinds of transparent. Um, I've got my uh, California yellow, Montana, Amarillo, California. And I've got my Blanco Divinidad, Divine White, Montana. And my Verde Golden, uh, Golden Green, which I really like this color. Um, again, I've got some of these uh, Montana caps on because I've you know, haven't taken them off yet, but, but when I paint, I'm going to put, I put color place caps on them. Unless, you know, these are the new ones. Unless I haven't used them. They last for like a day, maybe. Okay. And I've got my color place white. And I've got painter's touch. It's got to be painter's touch red. And painter's touch black. So I think I, it doesn't matter so much if the black is painter's touch. Um, you can use the Montana black or the painter's touch black. doesn't matter. And you also need ha, Painter's Touch White, and it has to be Painter's Touch White. So you've got a lot of different whites here. And I know that that probably feels like too many whites and stuff, but they all do different things. And uh, you want to be able to, to do the effects. You've got to have the different whites. Um, okay. So I'll, I'll explain it as we go. You're going to need a, a sheet of poster board to... Um, do the, uh, you know, the, the removal of paint layer thing. So you'll need like a, an old sheet, an old painting that you don't need anymore, or a sheet of uh, clean poster board. Um, and you'll need that to make the mushrooms as well. You'll need a spatula, mm, your paper, you need your mask, <laughs> and your ventilation system. And that's about it. So let's do it. Okay, so we've got our nice sheet of uh, white glossy poster board and all our colors are already right there. You can see all the uh, Montanas I've got and the painter's touch and I'm just gonna put them out of the way where they're most useful. And I'll start with just a little bit of orange along the sides and what I'm doing here is I'm preparing to make those edges. That's gonna go underneath a lot of green colors. And the green mixed with the orange is going to give us some nice brown colors. So now I'm going to do the forest on top. And to do that, I'm going to go from light to dark. And I'm making sure all my Montana cans are nice and shake up because they're real thick paints. So I will start out with the uh, lightest of the paints. In just a moment. <laughs> So I'm starting out with my Montana uh, white and I'm just doing a little semicircle at the top there and then I'm going to do a little bit of that uh, kind of uh, light green color and I'm going to put a little bit of yellow in there. I don't think I mentioned yellow in my introduction but that's painter's touch yellow. And then that's metallic green. I'm just going down in the shape of a, a back uh, a U, not backwards. It's facing upwards, in the in the shape of a U. And that metallic green is a really nice color for doing forests. 
and then I'm gonna go to my darker greens now if you only have one or two darker greens it's not a problem just you know just keep going from light to dark I, have, I bought a whole bunch of different greens so I'm piling them on but really it doesn't you're not even gonna be able to see the difference that's like a, a military color green <laughs> So now I'm I'm preparing my poster board. I've got a sheet of uh, poster board that I've did a painting I didn't like on. So I just crinkle it up with my hand, and then I rush my hand over it, and I get a real pretty pattern. It looks like a real interesting forest scene just just from just from that little bit. That's a good way of using that that planet kind of effect as a background. So now I'm putting my transparent on the edges because I'm gonna make kind of my it could be trees, or it could be like a, a land. It doesn't really matter. It's kind of a fantasy scene, and I'm, I'm using a sliding motion uh, with my advertisement paper where I'm drawing the edges with my fingers. And I went over the sliding motion in another video that's in the course. Precisely how to do that. Okay, so now I want to put a little bit of extra white at the top to make it seem like there's some sun rays coming down. So I'm getting my color place white. And I'm going to make like little comets at the top just by pressing down on that can in the shape of a semicircle. And that's just going to give me that little bit of extra light, like the light coming through a forest. And now I'm going to make my mushrooms. So I need another uh, piece of poster board to do that. It could be the same piece if you want to rip off the bottom. And I just fold it around make a little arc shape and, and I'm going to hold it with my hand and inside I'm going to use my painter's touch red and I'm going to use I believe I used Montana black but you could use either painter's touch or Montana it doesn't really matter to make that black part so I spray the red and I try to keep it only along the top because I don't want a, a mushroom to be wearing a long mushroom dress I just want the head to be red and I spray a little bit of black on the side that's farthest away from the light and I'm just going to repeat that. I want to make three mushrooms. Three is always a nice number. And they're nice and bright because that the contrast between the red and the green really brings out the, the brightness in the red. Now, I want the spots on my mushrooms to be uh, really bright and really big. So I'm using my painter's touch because when you put little blotches of painter's touch white onto painter's touch red, the paint expands. You get, it, it expands a little bit and it creates these interesting cool forms. So really put a lot of paint on that spatula and just really let even big drops fall onto the mushrooms. It's gonna look really cool. I'm using really big glops, and, and I'm using some smaller ones too, you know, I'm, the bigger glops tend to accent the front of the mushrooms and the smaller ones are in the back. So I'm putting some transparent, now I'm going to draw the stems. And to do that it's good to, you know, maybe Look on the internet and find some magic mushrooms and practice drawing them before you do this so that you know what, what they look like underneath. Um, you're gonna, first you're gonna draw some of that underneath. It's kind of like this white ruffly stuff and then you can uh, draw the stem out from there. You know, and if you hit another mushroom, you can, you can kind of patch it up a little bit. And then you draw the rim around the mushroom as well. So there's three steps. You draw that, that ruffly stuff underneath the mushroom, you draw the stem, and then you make the rim. And to know what I mean, you just have to, you know, watch a little bit closely, see what I'm doing. So there I am, I'm drawing that, those ruffly stuff. And those are, those are basically just lines from the center of the mushroom reaching out diagonally. You know, 
from the center to the edge of the mushroom in all different places. And then the stem, you just press the spatula down right in the center of all those lines and just, you know, draw it down and, and uh, draw yourself a nice stem with a lot of pressure on that spatula there. And you can put some detail in if you want. And then you go and you draw the, that edge around the, around the mushroom, creating that, that little uh, distinction between where the roughly white stuff is and that, that uh, bright red cap. So just watch as I do that again, one more time. And basically you can just observe and learn from, from watching it. Sometimes a picture is worth a thousand words, right? That's why we're doing this. Now I'm just going to make some grass along the bottom. You know, finish off the stems. Notice that there's a little bit of orange gets in the stems and that's good. If you want them a little bit smoother, you can put a little transparent on them and just with your finger blur that a little bit and it gives a nice effect. Especially if you've taken off too much paint, that's a way to get a little bit more back on there. And then I'm going to make some grass, so I spray my, my crystal clear all over the place. And with my spatula, I just, I push, and as I go up, I lift the spatula up, and I make little curves and straight lines, any kind of grass I want. Pulling up, pulling the paint up, push and pull the paint up. Push down on the spatula, push the spatula up, and lift it up. And that's a little metallic green. I can make that, that grass look a little bit more green just by using that clear metallic over it. And then I'm gonna make a little, a little bit more white at the top just to make sure it's enough. Now I'm gonna make a little, a little star on the edge of one of those mushrooms. And I do that by spraying some paint on my spatula. Now I use Montana here because I'm experimenting with Montana, but the truth is that Montana doesn't really work very good for this. I, next time I'm going to definitely use uh, Rust-Oleum White, which is what I usually use because the Montana is too thick. It's too thick to make a good star. So um, I think I'll, I'll do another video where I show you how to do this star. So uh, that's pretty much it uh, for now. That's a mushroom painting. So I hope uh, you guys enjoyed that and you give it a try and let me know how it turns out. And uh, I'll be posting some more cool stuff pretty soon. Um, so catch you later. Bye. Oh, and uh, f I'll be I'll be you know finishing this um, this thing will actually be for sale probably sometime soon. I keep adding to it. <laughs> so uh, for more information, visit spraypaintartsecrets.com and, um, you know, keep, if, if uh, anybody wants the, uh, the program earlier than usual, feel free to, to contact me and what I'll do is I'll sell you everything I've got already, plus I'll keep updating your stuff as I release new things and you, you can, uh, ask all kinds of questions to me and to Gerardo about uh, your spray painting. That'll, that'll come with uh, buying the program and stuff. The program. Um, it's basically a whole bunch of videos by Gerardo and by me uh, on how to paint with spray paint. So spraypaintartsecrets.com and uh, catch you guys soon. Okay, bye.